Well, thanks for tuning in for another live at the Eastwood Garage. Today we're going to go over the pneumatic rotor removal tool. Uh, so this tool is going to be great for removing everything from undercoating, seam sealer, pinstriping, and even rust in all those you know, areas that are hard to get to uh, with a lot more power than you'd see. So the reason we're bringing it up today is, is I believe it's an often overlooked tool for its true potential. So we want to be able to go over that today. So today's uh, panel I've created just gives a quick demonstration of everything that this tool can really do. So as you started out, you saw me, I was running the, um, the plastic wheel. It's going to be able to strip paint, it can strip some rust, uh, it can strip undercoating. It's pretty quick. Um, so this panel I've created, I've used you know, our epoxy primer. I've gone over with our Pro Street Red, in case you're wondering what color this is. And then over top of that is our premium show clear. You get a pretty nice finish uh, for something I'm going to destroy pretty quickly. So on this side of the panel, I put down a nice strip of seam sealer because as you all know, you grab some seams, you grab, you have seam sealer you need to strip for anything in the re restoration business. It's not fun. You're out there with a putty knife. You're trying to get a screwdriver, scraping it. It's not necessarily the safest thing and it's not going to come off very nicely. Uh, we also have some undercoating because you all know that's not fun to get off either. It's, it's on there. It can be gooey. It can be hard. Depends on the brand. And last but not least is going to be pinstriping. And also dealerships put those pesky little, you know, stickers on your, on your car. You may not want, you want to get rid of it without doing any damage to your paint. So this tool is going to be able to do that. So I've demoed all the things you could possibly come across and what it can really do with the exception of the rust removal, which we do have another video out there, which demonstrates very well what it does. So let me quick get this thing clamped down and let's run over what this tool can do. So we're gonna start out with the pinstripe removal tool. I like to start with that one just because it doesn't create quite as much of a mess so you guys can see what it does and then I'll go over to where this thing really gets fun. As you all know, it's pretty quick, it's easy. While I'm changing it over, this tool does come with uh, three different wire wheels. You're gonna get a fine, a medium, and a coarse one for different levels of aggressiveness. I have them laid out in the order so you can see uh, pretty quickly, you can see why they're more aggressive, they're finer. You know, obviously for your seam sealer removal, you'll go with the, the, uh, the coarsest one if you just want to kind of gently scrape the surface up. You know, especially if you're looking to use our rust encapsulator on, uh, you know, on a frame or something like that, this wheel right here would be absolutely perfect for that because it doesn't do a whole lot, just kind of rips the scaly stuff off, gets you ready, wipes some pre, and you're good to go. Uh, so we're going to put on the pinstripe eraser wheel. Now this tool has uh, two different screws it comes with, so it makes swapping back and forth between the two different things very nice and easy. Helps if I get it in the right way. It locks down in so you don't have to worry about, you know, getting it on right. You'll know when it drops down in. Quick tighten the Allen down. And again, it comes with the supplied key with a really nice spot in the blow molded case for it so you don't have to worry about losing it or anything like that. You always have it handy with you. So let's get started here with the pinstripe removal. And I can quick demonstrate one of the uh, new products we're gonna be having coming out, and that's the face shield I'm wearing. It's really nice, it molds around your face. It's not just a flat piece of plastic. And the nice part is it is impact related. Unlike most of the brands out there, this one that are not, this one is impact related, so you don't have to worry about it. And this will be coming soon. You always wanna go a little bit slower with the pinstripe removal, that way you don't burn any paint. And you can adjust it as you go to get it just right. You can see in just a couple seconds, something that would have taken you hours picking by hand, stripped down to absolutely nothing. Now all you have to do is wipe that area with a little bit of pre-painting prep, something like that, to clean off the remaining residue. You're good to go. There's no more pinstripe on there. So if you ever buy a used car that's got pinstripe on it you don't like, you can see how fast this tool just strips four layers of, of uh, pinstriping instead of sitting there picking at it forever and ever, hoping to get a piece off. So let's jump over to the real fun of this tool which is where we're gonna be working with the, uh, the undercoating and the seam sealer. And like I said before, you all know how fun that is to get off. Let's quick swap the wheels yet again. You can see how easy this is swapping wheels. And I've left the uh, spare screw in this other wheel, so all you have to do is just drop it right on. Just observe which way the rotation is. Since this thing rotates in a counterclockwise, you wanna make sure you get this wheel on so that you can see that these are arched forward so they're always grabbing as they go. 
That's an easy way because this tool is, you can swap them out. The hub gets reused. The wheel itself is what gets changed. Now, before I go ahead and actually attach this, I want to show what would happen is if you just happen to have a DA kicking around and that's about it and you were trying to get some undercoating off, you see how this is 80 grit, so it's pretty aggressive for a DA. You can show how slow this actually gets down and strips into that, and I'm also going to hit the seam seal too. So let's grab the little 80 grit. And even tilt it up on edge, you can see how it's really not doing too much to the undercoating. I've barely even put a dent in the undercoating. Same thing with the seam sealer. It kind of strips into it, but it's really not making too much. You're just making a big kind of goopy mess out of it, not really stripping it too effectively. So now I'm going to switch over to the to the wire brush. You can see this tool in its glory. Now what I've managed to do is make an incredible mess in a very short period of time in this shop. But what it goes to show is. Imagine if you're sitting there doing replacement quarter panel, where you have seam sealer all around the rear body panel, you know, down in the dog leg area where the rocker is, and you're sitting there trying to scrape it for hours. You can see how in just seconds, just ate this product away. Absolutely ridiculous. Saves you so much time instead of the traditional just DA trying to sand at it. Because heck, I sat there and you can still see there's just light little mark where I barely even touched it. Whereas this thing, gone amazingly fast. I mean. You'll thank yourself when you're done and you're not sitting there trying to agonize over, uh, over how you're going to get it off. Uh, so this tool is going to only require about 4 CFM at 90 PSI, which is going to be your, your operating CFM. And this one also is going to be a maximum of 3400 RPM. It is speed adjustable. If I get a Joe in here, it's very easy. Your thumb's right on it to make it adjustable. So if you're doing something like pinstripe removal, you want to turn it down. It's very easy to get the knob down. And then also for, as you saw, there's fast, fast stripping. Kick it up to the high setting. Um, one other nice feature about this is, is that the handle, if you're in an, all, you know, where I was at, I was down on it. It was really nice and easy. If you're going somewhere you need to change the angle, all this is a simple twist. It rotates 180 degrees from side to side. So if you're a lefty, you need to use it that way. If it just so happens that you're an angle where you're at the body right here and you need it on that side, you certainly can. Very easy, very quick, locks in place, and you're locked in solid. So it's nice, strong grip to what you're trying to strip off. Anyone who's done this, you know, knows that if you're with a something like a screwdriver or something like that, or a putty knife, you're taking forever. So, heck, how about I just go strip the rest of the seam sealer off? Something that would have taken you five minutes, I'll do in about ten seconds. So let's go over to the seam sealer. There's some rubberized undercoating that would have taken you a long time to try to sand off because, I mean, this is a, a nice solid undercoating that you can even take a, an Allen key to. You can see even the Allen key, something as sharp edged as an Allen key, is just barely getting down to the paint after scratch after scratch after scratch. So here's a great example how fast this tool works. You want to remove some paint? Heck, we can even remove some paint. And you just see how incredibly, incredibly fast this tool is, something that I believe this tool is often overlooked because people don't realize its true potential. I mean, if you're starting out in the body shop world and you're going to start as an apprentice, one of your first tools, definitely I recommend this thing because it's going to save you countless hours of trying to scrape it. So, I mean, there isn't a day that went by that I didn't use this tool, um, you know, on anything. So, highly, highly recommend it. As you can see, this is an amazing tool, so click the link to get yours today.